better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. I feel like I didn't film a proper intro for this vlog, but essentially this video is my last week in my summer study abroad program at UAL, and we were tasked to create something for our final exhibit. So this video is like the whole process of me cramming the artwork in three days and exhibiting my art with super talented course mates from all around the world. So yeah, I wanted to specify that, and let's get into the vlog. I came home from Brighton last night, and today is my first day of like actually doing my project. And it's the third week of the program, so we have like three days to complete a painting. So I I want to make this like big big ass canvas and all that stuff. So I'm gonna get to work. That's basically my intro. This is gonna be like um the final show ish vlog and all that stuff. I was gonna make stamps, but then I deb debated against it because I was like that's not really something I want to do right now. So I can make stamps in the future anyway. So. This is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me today in my life. I wasn't able to charge a lot of things last night, which is unfortunate. Um, and I'm bringing my big bag. It's already like 9.30. I'm gonna probably be a little late to class just because like I want to eat breakfast here. And everyone's just doing their project, so I'm gonna be a little bit late. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I don't have all the materials yet. I might like have to figure it out. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'm feeling a bit better from yesterday, so I'm going to school, but I'm gonna be a little late. So it's 10 17. We're usually supposed to be at 10. Um, and I need to make like food for tonight. I just made bacon and eggs again this morning, but I really wanna like experiment. I wanna make some udon, like udon soup. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to this event later tonight because I kind of have a fever, but we'll see. I need to finish the tree that I'm working on and then. Um, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, will be kind of like the last installation day. So I'm going to print out pictures and put them on the tree and all that stuff. So we'll see how it goes. I feel like two days is so short for what I'm doing. But like, it's fine, I guess. Oh, Alright, voiceover time. So what I'm doing here is I'm painting two layers of gold acrylic for the underpainting. My painting's kind of inspired by Gustav Klimt and I'll get into that more later. But this is me with my course mates and they're so sweet. They helped me like hang it up and made sure that the canvas was aligned and all that stuff. But yeah, my plan for today was to make the tree and paint the tree and spend around like 8 hours that day just sketching, painting, all that stuff. And I genuinely love the energy in a studio. I feel like it's so magical. You see like one corner transform into something new every few hours. And I just love it. I just love the energy that we all have together in here. And I feel like I'm way more productive because I know other people are creating beside me. So 
yeah, I'm painting a tree, which if you haven't caught on yet, it's a tree, but it's inspired by personal experiences of me growing up. And during this day, I had like the worst fever ever. And it was really helpful for me to go non-verbal because I had been going out every single day at this point. Hi guys, I am getting some water. It's currently 5 p.m. We can stay until like 8. So um, I really need to look for some materials. I need like these ABC blocks, but I don't know where to get them. And I'm not trying to buy any from like Hamleys or anything. And then need to print out the pictures I need, need to paint more pictures if needed. But maybe I'll just print them out because at this point, um, it's kind of really looking like Jesus and, Gus um, and Gustav Glimp. So I'm trying to like rectify that. Still haven't finished the tree branches and all that stuff. And so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm sorry if I haven't been talking that much in like the vlog. It's just because like I've been listening to podcasts here, working on time lapses on my camera. But yeah, that's the plan for today. And then tomorrow is kind of the same thing. So it's just going to be like the final thing and then the final installation, all that stuff. And I'm really excited. Like um, just a few days left in campus and having a lot of fun right now. Um, it's, ha it's nice working on a bigger space because I didn't really usually have that at home. So this is quite a big canvas. I also like drawing on the walls and stuff. So it's fun. Also, I'm not talking that much because I'm kind of sick. So that's what's going on. I'm also hungry. I might get dinner later. <laughs> Dude, I did mine and then I looked at mine and I was like, I fucking hate it. And I'm like, I only have one more day. I'm totally with your mind. Uh, you want to tell us so good and then I just ruined it. I'm like, maybe I should just keep it up. <laughs> yeah, I think I love it. So I feel like I haven't explained this painting at all. Um, it's basically a painting of me and my sisters and how we're from the same roots, but we're also growing apart since, you know, one of my sisters lives in New York and I'm currently in London and I feel like we're just separated, but I've always been with them for the longest time and like, that's all I know. And so it's just like kind of reframing my thinking of like, what was there in my childhood and, you know, what was important to me back then that I, that kind of take for granted now that made my childhood so beautiful especially with how, the, how close I am with my siblings and yeah the empty nest kind of represents how my parents will eventually become empty nesters I know it's not the most happy kind of painting but yeah that's what I've been thinking about a lot and I wanted to translate it into a painting <laughs> Mega mind, but pink. the final exhibit everyone had such amazing works and i was just like in awe like it's just such 
a fun creative space and I had so much fun just meeting people from all around the world like I could not recommend it more to go on a study abroad and meet people from all walks of life and meet people who share the same passion in creating as you do it's like the most magical thing ever i personally might not recommend my specific course because i'm more of a traditional art girly but i still did learn a lot of new things from contemporary fine arts and the whole day was exhibiting all the different study abroad students work so there was a fashion show that we got to sit front seat front row and it was super fun and super interesting to see what everyone came up with the other works of theater students i think there was like textile design and like art history and all that stuff which is so fun because it's just such a creative this space and i'm so happy to just so have happy, this experience actually. this summer with new friends I remember at the start of the course, I was so worried that I wouldn't have any friends or I wouldn't connect with anyone. But I feel like I made so much genuine connections by just being in the same program as these people. And it's just something that's so wholesome because you're all going through the same thing. You're all here for the summer and you're all trying to enjoy and have fun and make art. And it's, I don't know, it's like one of the best experiences ever. I could not recommend going on a summer study abroad program enough. It's like life changing and I'm so grateful. and. Yeah, I mean, there are going to be more London vlogs, obviously. I'm going to be staying here for a while. I'm going to be staying here alone. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye! Mwah.